All right, so move on to the next segment. I'll be sharing my thoughts on Trevor Lawrence's brand new contract. So this definitely shook up the quarterback market in the NFL. As it is already skyrocketing, it is now continuing to skyrocket. So we've seen Jacksonville Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence sign a new contract last week. The contract deal is a five-year, $275 million contract deal. Trevor Lawrence also gets $200 million guaranteed in this deal and got $142 million at signing when he signed the put the pen to paper on the dotted line last Friday. Trevor Lawrence is also now set to make $55 million this upcoming NFL season. So that's a lot to intake here. And <laughs> honestly... I am shocked that the Jacksonville Jaguars even offered this type of money to Trevor Lawrence. He is not worth $275 million. Giving him $200 million guaranteed is absolutely wild and absurd. I don't understand why they gave him all this money. He's Trevor Lawrence, in his starts as an NFL starter, he has 20 wins, 30 losses as a starter, has 58 passing touchdowns, 39 interceptions throughout his first 50 career starts. And he's only won one playoff game. If I were to pull up the stats to you guys head-to-head, -head, Daniel Jones has identical stats as Trevor Lawrence. And he's also won a playoff game. So for you to give him $275 million, $200 million guarantee is absolutely insane. And I'm not even going to go in order, but I can name 10 quarterbacks off the top of my head that's better than Trevor Lawrence. Patrick Mahomes. Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers, Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert, Dak Prescott. I mean, who else is there? Kirk Cousins. Uh, there's another, uh, Jared Goff. That's not my top 10 in order, but I'm just saying that's 10 quarterbacks off the top of my head. And I hate the slang word that's used all the time by college football analysts, generational talent, because this is what y'all said about Trevor Lawrence. I have yet to see anything generational about Trevor Lawrence since he's gotten to the National Football League. And he has yet to become the guy that he was at Clemson when y'all were slanging that generational talent thing around. He's been average in the NFL. He's not even a top 12 guy. He's average and he's not even the best quarterback in his division anymore. That title goes to CJ Stroud now. So the fact that the quarterback market is officially broken the fact that you're giving somebody that has 20 wins, 30 losses, and 50 career starts, $275 million, 200 guaranteed, $142 in this, uh, million in the signing, <laughs> this, this is crazy. This is absurd. I, I cannot believe that the Jacksonville Jaguars did this. Will, they come, will this come to bite them in, in the ass one day? We'll see. I'm not sure. But if he does not live up to this contract, he could be in a situation like the Giants have with Daniel Jones. Gave him all this money, but then last season, y'all saw Daniel Jones stink up the joint and ended up, of course, unfortunately, tearing his ACL. But we know that, and if Trevor Lawrence does that, he I, I don't know. This is really, this is going to be a tough situation, a rocky situation. But those are my thoughts on Trevor Lawrence getting that huge contract.